Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to use the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager and download your own mods. So, in order to be able to access this, you will have to have updated Baldur's Gate 3 to its patch 7, which adds a new option here on the main screen for the mod manager. So, you're just going to click into the mod manager here, and you're going to be gifted with two different options here at the top, with the browse and installed. So, once you have mods installed, you're going to see them all listed through here. And uh, you're going to have a little up arrow there if you need to update any of your mods. So I'd be checking here commonly if you're going to be adding more mods to the game. But then you're just going to go here to the browse. And this is where all the mods are going to be. So you can go through and find different ones. Like if you want to change the illithid appearance, this one has a one that makes it less intensive. Uh, but I was asked a lot of questions, and that's why I did this video, on how to get the options on the side to go a little bit further and refine your searches. So you actually have to select the search bar here. And then this will pop up on the side so you can choose different filters like if you want to upgrade the ui you have all the ui upgrades all in one spot so it's all condensed into these areas here so if you want a different subclass options they are all listed here different spell options uh you name it so it's all listed all on the side here and it's quite straightforward once you pick a option that you want to go with you're just going to go into the mod itself so uh i guess we'll go with um, war domain improved this will add some different options to the war domain all you have to do is hit subscribe and that's going to be um, the way to do it you can also give a like uh, thumbs up there if you like the mod and i guess it gives a, bit, a little bit of support to the mod creator so it boosts their, their uh, options up a little bit higher but there's a lot of different options here so things like dies they're still obviously being developed as time goes on so more mods will be more mods will be available as uh, this gets more uh, established. And uh, yeah, there's even options for class specific choices here. So you got all of that there. And it's cool, there's even for other classes too, because there's some that, uh, like the Mystic class, which is a unique class that allows you to get a bunch of different options. This is a mod that I highly recommend. Um, there's a whole bunch of different options here for people that want to find uh, things for their different subclasses. So. It's pretty straightforward. Once you download the mods that you wanted to download, all you have to do is go load into your game. Now I will show you guys, uh, it may have a little option here for setting third party mods enabled. So some mods will um, cause some issues. And it says mod issues detected. So unresolved certain ones. Some of them I've downloaded and uninstalled. So I have it saved with these mods and it's asking me to re-download them. But all you have to do is, um, go through here find whatever mods like i have a one that boosts enemies health by 250 percent it's okay most of these if you're having issues you can just click start game anyways and then it says oh you're missing these mods some issues may arise this is one of the new backgrounds actually added in patch 7 but from my experience i've downloaded 50 plus mods uninstalled a bunch of mods as well and i haven't had any issues with this so far knock on wood but uh yeah, the nice thing about adding in the mods is you get a whole new way to play Baldur's Gate 3. So it's a whole lot of fun, but you really just need to find ones that work with your own play style. And I would recommend keeping them on the same save file. If you're going to be using X, Y, and Z for your mods, try to keep them on for the mods. As some, like if you choose a different playable race, and then you remove that, there will likely be issues. However, for minor things like cosmetics or different spells... Um, it's typically okay to remove these mods if you don't want to use them anymore like or revert back to a previous save file i do have a video that i'm posting today on how to uh, back up your saves in baldur's gate 3 so i'll have that linked in the description as well because that's something you probably want to be doing if you're getting into some modding because the mods can break things it's it happens to everyone so i just want to have this kind of psa to avoid that for most people now sometimes with mods it does take a little bit longer to uh, get back into the game but you can see here we got all of our mods installed now so we got things like our increased party limit mod uh, so all you have to do is just hop back into your game i also have a mod here to change the bar um, so yeah that is it a pretty nice update to baldur's gate 3 so if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video